Hello, welcome to the Encouraging Word of today. Today is Wednesday, and it is August the 16th that we're going to pick up here now following out of the Encouraging Word of God, Mark chapter 5, and picking up in the story of where Jesus is on his way to heal um, this um, young daughter who's sick unto death, but on the way, this woman who has the issue of blood has touched him. And, um, and Jesus is going to show that what he looks for is a personal connection, a personal relationship, not just someone who receives benefits from him in him passing by. He's, he's not a drive-by type of God. He's not a drive-by type of Savior. He, he wants you to know that he cares individually for those who come to him. And he desires to have a personal acknowledgement, a personal relationship with those in whom have faith in him. And so, the Bible says that when she had heard Jesus came, she pressed behind and touched his garment. For she said, if I may just touch but his clothes, I shall be whole. And straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up, and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague. And so this is a marvelous miracle. And at the moment, there has been no personal interaction. Her desire was to be healed of the plague. And while that is a marvelous thing to be healed from, Jesus wanted to connect with her on a deeper level. Because remember, this is in a multitude of people. And now watch what happens. And Jesus immediately, knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him, turned about in the press, or turned about in the crowd, those who were just thronging him, and said, who touched my clothes? So he doesn't give benefits without personal acknowledgement, personal um, desire to have a relationship uh, so that he can make that contact with them. And his disciples said unto thee, Thou seest the multitude thronging thee, and sayest thou who touched me? What are you talking about? You know, there's ever all kind of people are touching you. But only one touched him in faith. Only one touched him in true, genuine faith. She, did, she said, I don't even, you don't even need to acknowledge me. <laughs> All I need to do is just touch his, touch his garment. He's, he's got the power. I, I believe he can do this. And um, everybody else is bumping into him. They have all kinds of questions, all kinds of doubts, all kinds of reservations. But she didn't have any. And the disciples are like, how in the world are you going to ask who touched you? Who hasn't touched you? And that's the difference. There are those who come to Jesus and they don't really believe in him. They just believe uh, for what they want rather than believing in him. But notice what verse 32 says. And he looked round about to see her that had done this thing. And notice that. Jesus looks around to see her, not the crowd or whatever. He knew. Jesus knew. Now, this is funny because verse 33 says, But the woman fearing and trembling, knowing what is done in her, she wanted to do it in secret. And he says, oh, no, that don't work that way. This has got to be a mutual meeting, a mutual gathering. We're, we're going to come together on this issue. And she was fearing and trembling because she thought, oh, no, he's going to take it back. She, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna return my issue of blood. And she came and fell down before him and told him all the truth. And... That is what we need to do with the Lord Jesus Christ. We need to tell him the truth. Tell him, listen, I, 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 this, I, I, I believe in you. I believe in you. I, I believe that you are the truth. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you are God incarnate, God in the flesh, the only one who can touch me and heal me and, and set me free. I believe that. I know that I have not always been what I should be, and I know that I have fallen short but I'm trusting in you. And then verse 34. And he said unto her, daughter. Daughter. He called her a daughter. Now, daughter is like the same issue of woman. 
um, in its translation here. And um, the King James certainly does translate it daughter because he's putting a, a term of endearment, a term of affection upon her. But you know, we are brothers and sisters in Christ. We are daughters, sons and daughters of God. He called her a daughter. Um, but notice what he says. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace and be whole of thy plague. And he says there's so much more. There's so much more for you to have. If you'll truly trust in me for everything. There's so much more to be had if you'll come to me in everything. Don't try, don't, don't be in fear of coming to me personally. That is what I desire. I, I don't want a throng of people. I want personal relationships with each individual. And so I pray that you have a personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, that he's not, you're not just passing by him and expecting to get things from him, but you have this personal relationship, this personal interconnection with the Lord Jesus Christ, and you, you trusted him with everything in your life and not just one thing in your life. And so I pray today you go forth might in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and I pray that you are encouraged and trusting in him.